everyone. Thank you for joining this uh, second seminar today. I'm Miko Yamaji from Catalytic Materials Transformation Division uh, and chair today's seminar. Uh, it is a great pleasure to introduce Professor Hideo uh, Hosono, Hideo Hosono uh, for the lecture of the seminars. Uh, I will introduce him bri briefly. Uh, uh, Hosono Sensei, Professor Hosono, is a fan founding director of Materials Research Center for Element Strategy. Uh, Japanese name is Genso Senpyak Center, and a professor of Materials and Structures Laboratory at Tokyo Institute of Technology. Since 2003, Hosono Sensei has concentrated on electroactive function, function cultivation in transparent oxide-based materials, tomena sankatsu, today, and have made a lot of have made a lot of achievement in discovery of novel functionality of oxide materials. Uh, among many successes, Hosono Sensei picked up three uh, uh, achievements to represent his science. But these three are uh, uh, discovery of ion-based high, high TC superconductors uh, and uh, the establishment of transparent oxide electronics and the cultivation of material science of electrolyte and its application. Uh, the discovery of iron-based superconductor was chosen as a breakthrough of the year 2008 by Science Magazine. Thin film transistor using I, uh, indium gallium zinc oxide called IGZO, reported in 2004, are now practically used to drive high uh, drive, uh, to drive high precision, energy saving di displays in tablet, smartphone, PC monitors, and large sized OLED TV. He received many prizes from various scientific societies, such as Society of Information Display, American Physics Society, and he, uh, well, he was awarded a Thomson Reuters Citation uh, Laureate Laure 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 in 2000, 2013 in physics because of iron-based high TC superconductor. In this year, he received an uh, Imperial Prize, Onshisho to Imus, Imperial Prize, and the Japan Academy Prize, Gakushi Insho. This prize is the most prestigious prestigious for academia in Japan. The Hosono Sensei will, will or gave a lecture in front of emperor. You did? You will? <laughs> no. Today, we learn many important things to create unique, impressive science. The Hosono Sensei, please start the lecture. Yeah. Uh, thank you for kind introduction. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, so today, uh, this is the title of the, my talk today, Electron and Hydrogen as Anion in an Oxide. Okay, so Electron is, is, a, is a extreme is a species of the Anion, and the Hydrogen is the simplest Anion. And if uh, anion is Hydrogen Anion can be stabilized, I will show that uh, these uh, two simple as uh, uh, chemical species as, uh, work as well to extract the new functionality in the oxide. Okay, so that's uh, Yamauchi and, and uh, inter, uh, introduce uh, as, uh, myself. So the, we uh, have concentrated on the cultivation of the electroactive functionality in the oxide, transparent oxide, in the past two decades. So the G's biograph is to summarize the highlight of the, as, uh, our research. Okay, so the one is uh, as, uh, grass based as, uh, transparent oxide semiconductor. So the, uh, one of the, them is the zinc, zinc oxide, we, people call the IGZO. So the, as, uh, mobility, a TFT mobility of the IGZO is one order higher than that of the Ammonium hydrogenated second, which is now is, uh, widely used to drive uh, LCD. So that the, this uh, IGZO transistor was uh, uh, applied to drive uh, this uh, iPad and 
55 inches OLED TV. So the front as uh, next month is the iPad Pro with uh, 12.9 uh, and uh, display uh, will be launched in the market. That's uh, Apple has announced. So that uh, maybe the five million as uh, as five million as uh, tablet as uh, iPad Pro will be launched. So all, all of the display are driven by our as Ibizo TFT. The second is uh, is uh, yeah, this electrolyte. Electrolyte is uh, as, as uh, crystal in which electron workers are anion. Uh, so the initial uh, stage and of the electrolyte are uh, we concentrated on the uh, uh, calcium aluminate and C12S7 and uh, I will show that uh, how the uh, how can we extract the uh, novel functionality from these such apparently as uh, boning material and it's uh, it's most interesting point of this material is that. Uh, as a low work, work function, uh, but the chemical can be natural. So we applied uh, this uh, unique feature uh, to the, the catalyst for the ammonia synthesis at ambient pressure. Uh, uh, we are now strongly involved. As uh, as sorry, uh, one is uh, iron based superconductors. As iron, as the people believe that iron uh, is the last as a compound to emerge uh, superconductivity. Uh, but the uh, iron based superconductor uh, is a TC is rapidly going up. Yes, it's uh, quite interesting. And as uh, uh, recently we uh, extended the concept of electrolyte uh, to the two dimensional. So the uh, anionic electrons are confined in the uh, cationic layers. Anion is uh, populated in the inter, uh, interlayer between the cationic species. Okay, so the, in a sense, uh, this is the bulk crystal of the two-dimensional electron gas. So the mo electron has uh, MPT, sc MPT scattering doesn't work in this crystal. So the only electron-electron interaction and um, occur in, in these uh, layers. So that the uh, mobility of the, this material uh, is much higher. So that, uh, so for example, the carrier concentration is two times the two, ten to the twenty. Uh, 20 seconds, the mobility still remains 200. So the electric conductivity of the calcium 2N is much higher than the metallic calcium. It's a totally different story. So that, uh, uh, but uh, today I focus on uh, these two materials. Uh, it's built from the uh, anionic electron and anionic uh, hydrogen. Okay, so the hydrogen is the simplest electronic structure and the most abundant. Uh, in us, and also the, the, as uh, we focus on the bipolarity uh, of the hydrogen. H, uh, most uh, cases you know that the H plus, so that uh, we but uh, we focus on the H minus. And another is the electron. Electron is the simplest anion species and the, li the lightest anion. So that we expect is that uh, as uh, quantum uh, quantum mechanical uh, tunneling uh, uh, work well uh, to extract uh, as. Uh, Electro functionalities. Okay, so the, this is the content of the, my talk. Uh, we focus on the two, uh, two species, H minus, as an electron donor in an oxide. Okay, so that the H minus work as an anion. So that we try to dope for H minus in the site of the O, o double minus. The second is an electron as, uh, as an anion, so the electron. So the, uh, the electrolyte has a material, uh, the, the, there's, uh, how do you say, it? the stable electrolyte material, uh, the C12S7 is the first material, uh, shows it's, uh, uh, quite unique uh, properties. Uh, by using uh, uh, these unique properties, uh, we uh, we try to uh, find the new functionality. And one is a uh, uh, catalyst for the ammonia synthesis, another focus is uh, Electron injection layer in OLED. OLED people always focus on uh, organic material, so that this is not, not uh, as uh, always almost impossible to uh, apply the uh, uh, OLED as a, mass, as a mass production just by using uh, organic. In organic and organic, uh, both have nothing to do. Most important thing is uh, how to uh, use the most appropriate material for the just fit. And so applications. I'll show that the uh, so electron injection layer, uh, this material, work very well. 
Okay, so the, uh, the, why we have the focus on the hydrogen? So the hydrogen in the periodic table always has the location of the hydrogen is located on the uh, left, uh, left top. But the hydrogen is, uh, is a typical uh, bipolar element. So the, my, in my periodic table, the hydrogen occupies the center of, of, of the, uh, the top one. Okay, so that's, uh, I'll show the one of the example. So the, the, so the almost 10 years, 10, oh, yeah, no, no, 15 years ago, 15, yeah. 15, well, 14 years ago, well, as at the time the uh, Hyacin, uh, Hyacin uh, 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 joined our uh, so a lot of project. At the time, we found that uh, uh, C12S7 uh, treated with uh, hydrogen gas as uh, turned to uh, electric conductor just by lighting the, uh, uh, illuminating a light. So that's at the time. So that uh, we as uh, the major the proton uh, hydrogen MR. So that but the two peak, uh, three peak uh, appeared, but uh, almost impossible to assign. So the almost ten, it's uh, ten years after uh, we uh, could assign uh, uh, an MR of, of the hydrogen. So the yes, this is quite interesting because it's, uh, okay according to the uh, textbook. It's positive chemical shift uh, species uh, come from the proton or or H minus. Then, uh, while as the negative shift is come from the H minus. Okay, it's, but uh, it's uh, this description is not so always true. So that uh, as, uh, as this as, uh, biograph shows that the chemical shift and uh, and and as uh, the OO distance or the D. MH distance, okay? So the, the, if the chemical shift as peak as, uh, uh, of the 5 ppm uh, is, is observed, so that the, uh, the one is, of course, G species, another species is, uh, an, uh, is H minus. So the most, almost impossible discriminates uh, as, uh, as all responsible species uh, from the chemical shift. Okay, so that the, uh, for example, uh, the, this case is uh, hydroxyapatite, and so it's uh, treated with the hydrogen atmosphere, and uh, resulting sample is, uh, looks fine, but the uh, resulting sample is exposed to the UV radiation, and the sample becomes uh, green. Okay, so that the, uh, the, this is green upper. So that the, that the origin of the, uh, the color, uh, no, this green is a trapped electron, uh, trapped in, in a, as a uh, triangle caution, so that uh, uh, so we uh, measure the proton, hydrogen, and MR, so that this peak almost impossible to identify. So that eventually, by uh, using a dissipation, uh, we can identify that uh, uh, this peak come from the H minus, uh, uh, which locates the center of the triangle caution. So that this means that the hydrogen minus is everywhere. Just we we cannot uh, so obtain. The, uh, we don't have uh, appropriate tool to detect the H minus. Okay, so the, from here I will show that uh, as uh, more as uh, positive as uh, lower of the H minus in uh, carrier doping, heavy carrier doping in uh, ion based superconductors. Okay, so that's uh, as why ion based superconductor has uh, uh, attracted so many as, uh, researchers, especially the condensed matter physicists. So the reason is very, very simple. So the origin of the uh, superconductivity is a transient dynamic formation of the electron pair, as uh, called the Cooper pair. So on the other hand, is uh, as uh, transition metal uh, with a with large magnetic moment, uh, tend to have aligned structure, static, static aligned structure, uh, such as a ferromagnetism or the anti-ferromagnetism. And so that, uh, okay, if the uh, so magnetic sp uh, uh, spin uh, statistically aligned like this, uh, so this is quite strong, almost impossible to make a transient formation of the group the, uh, This is why that, uh, and, uh, and in um, condensed matter as uh, physics, as uh, magnetic as ion, uh, containing material is uh, harmful to uh, induce the superconductivity. The ion is a typical error. 
Okay, so the, and then we uh, so found that the ion based superconductor, uh, so in the long term ion uh, oxy ox uh, so nictite. So that this is a case of the uh, so phosphide cases. Uh, when the temperature is going down, uh, so but superconductivity come out, but the TC is low. When the uh, so phosphorus was replaced by the, uh, so arsenic, so that's a quite a strange behavior, okay? So suddenly change and uh, it's going up. The when uh, we couldn't understand why. The when uh, a part of the uh, OW minus are uh, replaced by the fluorine to induce uh, to dope electron, so the uh, this kink appeared, it disappeared, and instead bark superconductivity come out. Okay, so that uh, this means that uh, electron doping is uh, eliminates the long range magnetic as uh, ordering and induce uh, superconductivity. This is very important. The so parent phase is a magnetic order. When the carrier is doped, uh, some long-range magnetic uh, say, ordering disappear, and uh, so superconductivity come out. Uh, this is the common uh, uh, physical fe uh, so fe feature of the high T TC superconductors. OK, uh, this is the 100 years anniversary of the uh, superconductivities. So that's, uh, as you know, that uh, the first uh, superconductor was discovered in uh, the mercury by uh, Heike Kamerion in 1912. Uh, yes. After that, it's, uh, the, it's an intermetallic compound as, uh, uh, was found to show the, the superconductivities. And it's uh, around the, the, the 1980, almost TC was saturated. Okay, so that's the time that uh, as the people believe, as, as say that uh, this is uh, as uh, limit of the TC. So that's a so called uh, as uh, wall of, of the Cooper uh, BCS theory. But uh, and so suddenly in 1986, and cuprate superconductor. Uh, Discovered by it's, uh, it's, it's George Bedros and Alex Muller. And it's uh, uh, Chu Sang, Paul Chu, and uh, Ma, uh, Mao Ken Wu discovered the YBCO. So the TC was uh, 90. 90 is uh, uh, the first material which, uh, whose TC exceeds the uh, uh, boiling point of the 70 uh, liquid uh, nitrogen. This is breakthrough. Okay, after that, it's, uh, uh, the TC is saturated, and uh, the two, 2001, a chemist sensei of the Aoyama, Uni uh, Aoyama Gaku University, uh, who is now uh, Hiroshima, and uh, uh, discovered MGB2. But after that, nothing uh, is uh, discovered. We uh, discovered ion based superconductor 2006, and TC is rapidly going up. And recently, uh, last year, a uh, Chinese group discovered, uh, so reported the, uh, so one monolayer of the iron selenide uh, so, uh, gives the TC higher than uh, 100. So the now the uh, iron based superconductor is now pretty busy. Okay, so that's, uh, uh, so this is the parent material of the iron based superconductor. Parent material means the parent material that it shows the TC, but when the uh, carrier is doped, uh, so the TC come out. Okay, so the, uh, this is the 1111 system. 1111 means that the one 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 the ratio is very simple. One two two one one 1111 the system is that we discovered the one two two and the one 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 and the one 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 is very pretty simple. Uh, so iron selenide is a typical example, and other the, the complex uh, the material. So the common feature of the uh, these parent material contain a square lattice of the ion cuprates. Okay, uh, this is a the density of state. So this is a Fermi level. So the Fermi level uh, around the Fermi level, the uh, so most dominant uh, the orbital is the ion CDD orbital. This means that uh, and so this material is uh, can be regarded as uh, ion-based superconductors as, uh, as a general uh, general cases. Okay, so that's uh, uh, this is a phase diagram, schematic phase diagram of the uh, Samarian uh, the, uh, the 11 system. Okay, parent material is antithermal magnetic. 
Okay? When an electron is doped, uh, so nerve temperature is going down, and TC come out. This is a common feature. But the uh, uh, so maximum doping limit of the uh, so electron is 0.2. No uh, further, uh, uh, nobody knows that the, uh, the, this region. Okay? Uh, uh, so this uh, simple is very, very, uh, uh, this is very, very simple. When uh, uh, so fluorine uh, is depressed, uh, the oxygen is depressed by fluorine ion, so that uh, uh, samarium oxyfluoride is preferentially precipitated. So it's almost impossible to dope uh, uh, higher electron. So the maximum solubility is a 0.2. So the, but, the, but, but we'd like to know that the whole uh, region of the TC. So that's, uh, how to dope electron? Uh, heavy dope electron is an issue. So the, uh, the, the strategy we uh, selected uh, is a two dope uh, H minus instead of the F minus. Okay, so the when the uh, hydride is used as, uh, as a starting material and as the try to synthesize the material by conventional solid state reaction. But uh, uh, such a simple method doesn't work, of course. So, uh, so how to uh, synthesize uh, this material is, is very important. So the we as, uh, chose a high pressure synthesis. High pressure synthesis in, in, uh, is a, as a quite interesting for us. This is a past experience uh, for our group. Uh, we uh, use uh, this type of the high pressure cell. So the cell construction is, is, is a little as, uh, complex. But the key is uh, uh, to use a uh, high temperature hydrogen source. High temperature hydrogen source means that when the temperature is going up, and so, uh, so the sodium borohydride case is, uh, and calcium hydride, and so when the temperature is going up, <coughs> calcium hydride decompose, and resulting water uh, react with uh, uh, hydrogen salts and to give uh, as hydrogen gas. By using uh, as, as such a, a sort of hydrogen source, uh, we try to synthesize uh, as uh, heavy hydrogen doped and uh, 11 lemon system. So that's a hydro, it's a, this cell works as a high temperature a vessel, high temperature vessel to synthesize as, uh, as such a material. Okay, so that the, I'll show the data. So that uh, this is the neutron diffraction uh, of the uh, cerium case, uh, cerium 1111. So the, uh, this case is uh, uh, the hydrogen, uh, the, uh, the neutron oil is used in, in place of the H uh, because it's, uh, the, 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 uh, the neutron, uh, the scattering length of the neutron is much larger than hydrogen. So that, uh, uh, this is, is a standard uh, technique for the neutron diffraction. Okay, so the, uh, this is the powder diffraction pattern of the uh, neutron diffraction. So that the, uh, so the, the, mo the, uh, the model is very simple. So the hydrogen position, uh, uh, the oxygen position is randomly is, uh, substituted by the neutron. So the powder pattern, observed the powder, powder pattern perfectly reproduced by the, the model. It's very, very simple. Oh, okay, so the, the, the and so the neutron diffraction as uh, clarifies that the neutron occupies the height as the ocean position. The, the next issue is the charge state of the uh, Dr. Hydrogen. So, the, so we as uh, use uh, density functional calculation, okay, by using uh, as, uh, diff as uh, structural data determined by neutron diffraction, and uh, uh, so calculates the uh, density of state uh, by using uh, an, uh, is, uh, this is a uh, uh, virtual uh, crystal approximation. Okay, it, 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 this is a parent material, this is a fluorine dot, this is a hydrogen dot. Okay, the Fermi level is here, so the oxygen 2P is here. Fluorine 2P is much deeper, so okay, you can uh, easily understand. So that the hydrogen dot sample, oxygen 2S, uh, hydrogen 1S located in the almost uh, uh, a similar position of the oxygen to P, okay? O almost similar. And it's, uh, 
electron counting number, uh, so determined by integration of the, these partial loss is almost two. Okay, so the electronic configuration occupied state is uh, one and two. So this means that the charge state of the substituted hydrogen is uh, H minus. And uh, so the, uh, this is a phase diagram we determined by uh, uh, hydrogen doped samples. Uh, this is a previously reported one. So the, this is a temperature. Uh, this is a, a electron uh, uh, doping. So that the, uh, um, the previous uh, the, the fluorine doped uh, sample is an open circle and the open uh, tri uh, square. So the, our data is uh, produced uh, uh, as a previous data. And it's the, the maximum as the doping concentration or, or for the fluorine is uh, 10%. So the, our data follow the, these uh, data, but the, uh, the TC is extended. And uh, even uh, as uh, over the 40%, still TC uh, uh, is uh, TC remain. And it's uh, maybe going down. Okay, so that the TC dome is much wider than uh, people expect. So totally different. So the so totally uh, different uh, result was obtained in the uh, Lantram 11.11 system. Uh, this is uh, as the most simple cases. And uh, uh, this is our data, the flow of the sample 208. So the t uh, nerve temperature is going down, and it's uh, TC come out, and the reach a maximum, and going down. This is uh, uh, so our data, 208. OK? So the we, at, at, at the 208, we saw that the, this is almost a dome. But uh, it's, uh, the hydrogen <coughs> dome sample shows that this is the first dome. So the, uh, there is another dome. We call it the second dome. OK, so the uh, two dome structure is obtained. So totally different. OK, so that the, these data, yeah, OK. These data suggest that there are two domes. OK, one dome is, uh, has a, is derived from the parent material located here, x equals 0. So the way, uh, it is natural to consider that there uh, sh uh, should be another uh, parent material around here. So the, to check the, uh, so this idea, uh, we apply the three uh, quantum beam to clarify the G's hypothesis. OK, so the one is a neutron diffraction, another is a new SR, the new spin resonance, uh, to detect the local magnetic moment. Another, uh, the last one is a synchrotron uh, radiation X-ray diffraction. Uh, by using uh, as this data, uh, so we uh, obtained it, uh, such a uh, phase diagram, OK? And spin structure is uh, similar, uh, almost uh, similar, but the magnetic moment is uh, local magnetic moment of the ion is double, totally different. OK, so the, as, uh, there is a, a two dome, as, uh, as, and as there is a two parent phase. So this is a, an old parent phase. This is a newly found uh, parent phase. So the quite interesting uh, for us is uh, these two parent material have a different magnetic structure. So that's, uh, this means why the 1111 system has the highest TC compared with the other parent material, like a 1-1 one, one or the 1-2-2. Two, two. So the only 1111 system has the large, highest TC. So the, we imagine that the, uh, there is a two uh, so different uh, parent phase. If the uh, so two dome are merged to give a, a unified dome, the TC uh, will be uh, reached. Uh, the maximum. So that uh, and how to merge these two uh, phases is a uh, uh, is a, it's a problem. So that we apply the high pressure. So the, the, this is the data at uh, ambient pressure. This is one gigapascal, and this is uh, six gigapascal. You can see that the both as uh, SC one, SC two are merged to uh, united uh, to give uh, as. Uh, a lot, the highest TC, okay? Yeah, this means that there is a two parent phase in the 11 level system. So the, when the two dome are uh, uh, two dome are merged uh, 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 to give a uh, unified dome, the so maximum uh, TC is obtained. It's very, very simple. 
So that the, the success of the, this story is a, a heavy electron doping by using a H minus. Okay. So the physics of the, uh, the this material is very very uh, deep. So that uh, I don't as I mentioned about the, the uh, physics here. But anyway, but the important thing is H minus work as an electron donor by substituting the O double minus ion side. Okay, so the, as the from here, as uh, I will show the electrolyte. Electrolyte is uh, as ionic material, ionic, ionic crystal in which electron work as an anion. So the original as concept of the electrolyte uh, was discovered as, as proposed by Professor James Dye uh, uh, here. And so his motivation is very, very interesting. So the, yeah, as you know, that the, when uh, as metal has uh, alkali, uh, is, is dissolved in the liquid ammonia, so weighted electron is absorbed. So the, in the in case of the sodium is dissolved, so the, it's a clear blue uh, ammonia liquid is obtained. Okay, so the, such a material gives a metallic conduction. The, so Professor James Dye uh, fascinated by the beautiful color of the solvated electron. He thought that if the solvated electron can be crystallized. This is just a motivation by James Dye. Okay? But it's not so easy uh, as, uh, to obtain uh, a uh, so crystal of the solvated electron. For example, so the, the, uh, please imagine the sodium chloride. All the, uh, each of the chlorine is replaced by the hydrogen. The resulting material should be electrolyte. But in these cases, as um, and as, uh, in, in place of the electrolyte, as uh, metal sodium is created. Okay, recombination. How to uh, suppress the recombination of electron and as uh, cation is, is a technical issue. He has uh, succeeded by uh, obtaining uh, as, uh, electrolyte uh, by using uh, as uh, such a crown as, uh, as cyclic acid. Okay, so the when uh, as uh, Metal sodium and uh, cesium was dissolved in a cyclic acid solution so that the uh, cesium is ionized uh, to give an electron, and as a result, in cesium plus uh, form a very uh, rigid, as, uh, such a complex. Uh, so, if this material uh, is regarded as a supramolecular cation, so the large uh, sized cation as, uh, provides as an anionic hole. To uh, sit for the electron. Uh, and eventually, he obtained uh, the uh, crystal of the electron in uh, 1983. Very beautiful one. So, the, uh, this material, uh, the resulting electron, is uh, conceptually new and it's exotic. But the problem is uh, almost impossible to measure the physical property because uh, even uh, this material is only uh, uh, stable at below minus 100 degrees C. Even uh, as a uh, low temperature, when uh, as the uh, atmosphere is changed to the uh, oxygen containing or the or, uh, humidity containing atmosphere, the electron as uh, attacks the uh, uh, COC bond. Uh, so the very, very it's, uh, difficult to uh, measure the physical properties. So that's a uh, uh, citation of the uh, James Dye's paper is not so many, okay? So that this means that the originality is clear. But uh, most, of, most of the researcher cannot follow his experiment. So that uh, uh, this is uh, the, one of the example. Citation of the paper is not a universal measure, okay? So the simply, simply prepared, everyone prepared material uh, very easy to do, but the uh, originality is a different story. But I love the, his work so well. So, okay, so that uh, and so the, we focus on C twelve S seven calcium aluminate. Uh, so calcium aluminate is a, a stable compound on, in the binary G uh, system. Uh, this is a lime and this is aluminum. Both of them are well known as. Uh, Typical insulator. 
So that this is a, uh, it's a main constitution of commercially available aluminum cement. So the very cheap material is maybe the, it's uh, 15,000 yen per ton. 15 yen per kilogram. It's the cheapest material, of course. And as, uh, we can uh, paint the single crystal like this. So that, but uh, this crystal is quite interesting. And because the bond gap is a seven AB, as the crystal structure uh, is like this. So the most unique feature of the, this material is uh, uh, cage, <coughs> cage connected structure. That is to say, it's a cage with positively uh, have a positive charge is connected by sharing uh, as one monolayer of oxide uh, to form a three dimensional. Crystal. Some people say this material is closed almost uh, like uh, it's uh, zeolite, not totally different. Zeolite has a charge of the uh, so cage wall is uh, negative. So that uh, to compensate uh, this charge, that cation is included. Okay? So the cation is included is not so interesting because it's, uh, we cannot uh, utilize a counter mechanical tunneling. So the, the, but this case is charge of the cage wall has ne, has negative uh, positive. That's why we can introduce uh, uh, the electron, and also the, uh, the cage is connected by sharing one monolayer of oxide. So the cage wall is very very thin. So the electron can pass through the, uh, the cage wall by electron tunneling. And also as uh, as chemical cells. Uh, formula of the, uh, of the unit cell is like this. Don't fo uh, focus on the uh, co complex number. Cage is plus, uh, plus four charge, okay? So there are 12, 12 cages in each cell. So the, to compensate the plus four charge, two O double minus are randomly entrapped in uh, two out of 12 cages. So the occupied cage is uh, one six. Remaining five over six are empty. Okay, so the quite interesting is the size relation of the uh, O double minus and the inner diameter of the uh, cage. So the inner diameter is 4.4 ohms long, and the size of the O double minus is 2.8. So that the cage uh, in diameter is much 50% larger than uh, that of the uh, O double minus. So the O double minus is uh, is loosely bounded by the octahedral calcium. So that's a, we focus on a, a, such a, a loosely bounded oxygen. That is to say, we would like to replace these free oxygen ion by active anion species, which is unstable in a conventional atmosphere. H minus, O minus, a, a, AU minus, and eventually electron. From here, I will show the result of the hydrogen and uh, its uh, electron substituted uh, C12S7. Okay, so the, how to uh, stop an electron? Uh, very, very simple. Okay, uh, uh, if the, uh, the two oxygen double minus ion are uh, extracted uh, and uh, inject the electron, so that we can uh, dope. Uh, uh, 2.3 times 10 to the 21st electron can, uh, can be doped in uh, uh, so this crystal, okay? So that we can really uh, obtain uh, such a sample. That is to say, as a piece of the uh, C12S7 uh, and a metal titanium shot and evacuated in uh, uh, silica glass and uh, silica glass is heated up to 1100 degrees C. So that the uh, uh, titanium uh, is vaporized and deposited on the surface surface and, and the encased oxygen double minus species are uh, uh, diffused out and it's uh, the, the combi uh, uh, bind with uh, titanium to form a strong titanium oxygen bond. And that is a consequence to com compensate uh, uh, the negative charge electron is, in, in, is injected. So that uh, by using uh, such a simple process uh, we obtained the, uh, as, uh, such a sample uh, as, uh, very easily. Okay, uh, this is of course a, a typical insulator, and when the uh, electron is stopped, what happens? Uh, this is a, a, con a temperature uh, dependence of the conductivity. Uh, before doping, uh, that as, uh, as, uh, as 
room temperature resistivity is 10 to the minus 10. You know, this is, a, of course, a typical insulator. When the electron is doped, uh, so, uh, this case is uh, the conductivity is goes up uh, to uh, uh, over uh, 12 order of magnitude. Okay? When the uh, uh, so electron concentration to this level, so the temperature independent, after that, uh, so the slope become negative. That is to say, this is a semiconductor, this is a metal. So the metal is uh, the transition is observed. Okay? So when uh, uh, such a metallic uh, C12 by 7 is cooled down, what happens? Okay, as uh, bulk superconductivity is observed. Okay, this is the cement superconductors. Okay, this is a real story. So that's uh, why electron can be doped. Okay, uh, this is the band structure uh, of the CPR7. Uh, so that this is the band from the top, and this is the conduction band bottom. This is a cage wall as uh, conduction band. So the, uh, this is common uh, for the calcium aluminum, uh, CaO and uh, A2O3, so the, uh, not so, so fun. These bands are specific to the, this material. So the, uh, this is oxygen 2P of the free oxygen ion. So oxygen, free oxygen ion, ion is loosely bounded. So that the oxygen 2P level is much higher, destabilized. Okay? That's why these electrons can be escaped uh, from the system by chemical treatment. So the, if the electron can be doped, electron should be uh, injected this layer, uh, this band. This band has a large dispersion. The band width is uh, one may be pretty large. This means that when the electron can be doped, this material, uh, this mater resulting material should be a metallic conduction. Uh, th this is a theoretical uh, expectation. So the origin of, uh, we call the cage conduction band. So the origin of the cage conduction band is very, very simple, electron tunneling. When the electron is doped, so the electron can pass, can pass through the, uh, the monolayer of the thin oxide layer. So that's why uh, such a uh, large dispersed uh, uh, state is obtained. So the presence of the cage conduction band is uh, verified as uh, photo emission spectroscopy. Okay? Okay, this is a balance band top, and uh, this is a conduction band bottom. You can see that the, uh, so the small bump around here. This is a Fermi edge, so this is a, 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 a top of the cage conduction band. So the, this location is reproduced by a band calculation, of course. Okay, so the, this is a superconductor. Why uh, this material shows the superconductors? This is, a, an, uh, okay, alkali metal, alkali earth metal, don't, uh, doesn't give a uh, uh, superconductivity. Why? S state, S electron doesn't uh, give a uh, uh, superconductor. The, this is almost a common sense. Uh, the, this is almost a S like electron, and so, but the TC is low, but uh, anyway, it's clear that it's, uh, uh, superconducting transition is observed. Okay, so that we, as, uh, we notice that uh, it's a bound structure, okay? This is a, uh, but this is a metallic lithium BCC. Uh, uh, this is, is metallic lithium and doesn't show the superconductivity. But uh, when the temperature, uh, the, uh, the high pressure is applied, as uh, it's uh, such a um, state, uh, CL60 uh, gives a, a, a superconducting transition. Okay, so the lithium, uh, the lithium, uh, the core is it's uh, collided too close, so that. The, and the valence electron is escaped from the lithium to the interstitial position. So they're almost like an uh, uh, electrolyte. So the band structure of the superconducting uh, lithium is pretty close to the C electron doped C12 lithium. That's why it's, uh, electron doped super, uh, uh, electron doped C12 lithium uh, gives a superconducting transition. Okay, what we do, did is just do dope electron uh, to the uh, these cages. So the resulting electric structure is pretty close to the high pressure phase of the superconducting uh, metal resin. So quite, uh, uh, quite interesting. So that's, uh, it's, uh, the we apply to the this material, to the uh, uh, various uh, the 
uh, subject. So the most unique property of the, this material is the low work function. Work function of this material is only 2.4. 2.4 is a pretty close to the metal potassium. Okay, metal potassium. As you know, that the, the alkali metal is chemically active. Okay, so especially the calcium, the potassium is very active. If uh, you touch the metal potassium by hand, so the don't touch by hand. So the, anyway, it's a C twelve S seven electrolyte. Uh, it's chemically inert, so that we can touch the. Uh, uh, the sample by hand, no problem. So this is totally different from uh, uh, conventional metals. So I don't uh, explain the uh, detail, but anyway, uh, it's low work function, but uh, chemical inertness. This is uh, pretty unique to the c 2 semi electron. Okay, so that's uh, it's one of the uh, our target is. Uh, uh, to apply this material uh, to synthesize the room temperature, room ambient pressure uh, synthesis of the ammonia. So that you know that the ammonia synthesis uh, uh, is a, a triumph of the chemical research in the uh, last centuries. So the, uh, almost 100 years ago, uh, the mass production of the ammonia uh, started uh, by Basque by using so-called the harbor wash process. So the harbor wash process uh, uh, is a, is a uh, energy consumption, high energy consumption process, that is to say, and uh, high, high temperature and high pressure uh, are absolutely needed, especially the, uh, uh, to dissociate the strong nitrogen nitrogen bond, uh, such as uh, severe conditioning is uh, needed. And also, the, when the uh, temperature is high, chemical, uh, chemical equilibrium doesn't shift to the, uh, the, this side, so that's why high pressure is needed. Okay, so that uh, we uh, would like to synthesize uh, an ammonia at low temperature and low pressures. So why is uh, as, uh, ammonia synthesis uh, need a high energy uh, is consumption? Very, very simple. The nitrogen nitrogen triple bond is pretty strong. So the how to dissociate the uh, 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 nitrogen nitrogen uh, triple bond? So the third forward is uh, uh, just injects uh, uh, so many electrons to the anti-bonding orbital of the nitrogen. Okay, so that uh, as, uh, low work function metal, uh, material is absolutely needed. But uh, as nitrogen nitrogen bond the dissociation of nitrogen nitrogen bonding is not so difficult by using uh, as the alkali metal. But uh, as, uh, if the alkali metal is used, as the nitro alkali nitride is uh, easily formed. The, but doesn't work as a catalyst. Nitrogen as uh, alkali as uh, alkali metal nitride is chemically stable. So the, the, this is just n. So that the how to uh, 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 apply the material for food uh, which has a chemical activity, low work function, but chemical inertness. Okay, this is just. Uh, uh, property uh, for the C12 7 That's why we determined to this material for the ammonia catalyst. So to apply the C12 7 uh, uh, electrolyte to the ammonia catalyst, most difficult was the surface. When the C12 7 single crystal was uh, broken in a, at the high vacuum chamber, resulting surface become easily. Okay? Very, very simple. Okay? Electron is dope, so that the C12 7 has no cleavage surface. So the when a uh, uh, single crystal is broken, as uh, mechanical broken, so the cage is broken. So as, as a consequence, electron is uh, as, uh, escaped from the cage. That's why resulting surface uh, becomes insulated. Okay? So there's almost no meaning. So that, uh, we carefully uh, is, uh, tuned that uh, surface reconstruction and condition. And so that by using a scanning tunneling microscope, Okay, but uh, this work is very, very tough. So the uh, Dr. Toda, uh, he spent almost three years uh, to uh, get the reproducible uh, STM uh, uh, scanning tunneling micro, uh, uh, pro, uh, pro, uh, microscopic <coughs> image like this. So that eventually uh, we found that the reproducible uh, STM uh, structure uh, in uh, atomic resolution. So the simple is, uh, the resolution is very, very simple. So that we carefully tune that the surface reconstruction condition, uh, surface is reconstructed to keep a cage, okay? So that the 
if the sample is broken mechanically in a high vacuum chamber, sample cage is broken, but after the careful treatment, the original surface structure is recovered. So this is just we want to apply this material for the catalyst. Okay, so the and, and we has uh, we use uh, lucenium to uh, capture the uh, nitrogen molecule on the surface of the as, uh, metal. So the lucenium as uh, metal is uh, is, is uh, as, uh, appropriate for the ammonia catalyst. The first uh, as uh, report was uh, discovered uh, reported by Professor Aika and Professor Ozaki of the. Technology almost some, uh, 30 years ago. So we adapted the uh, uh, lucenium and, and, and the same nanoparticle of, uh, loaded on the surface of the C207. And uh, so we examined the ammonia synthesis. Okay, so the, the result is very, very simple. It's, uh, this is the best material uh, of the um, lucenium loaded and uh, some ammonia catalyst. Uh, cesium loaded. Cesium loaded MgO. So the, okay, so the activation energy is our our catalyst is half, and turnover frequency is one over one order higher. Okay, and also the quite interesting is uh, as uh, this data. So the the lucidium catalyst has a common feature, a common uh, draw. That is to say, the so lucidium uh, catalyst is easily as uh, hydrogen poisoning, that is to say, active side of the lucidium is selectively covered by a hydrogen species. So that the, the we obtain a minimum 10 atoms, because of the nitrogen as, uh, was, uh, we would like to liquid nitrogen, okay? So the ammonia is easily liquefied at the uh, at the point at 1.0 megapascal. So that, uh, for, this is the best catalyst reported so far. When uh, uh, so the hydrogen pressure was applied, the, the catalyst uh, the activity doesn't change. But uh, this case is almost linear. So the it's, uh, it's C12S7 uh, loaded with the lucenium is pretty robust to the hydrogen and loading. So the, after that, as uh, yeah, almost time. Was, uh, I, I skip, but anyway, as uh, electron, as uh, lot of the electron donation is essential. That is to say, so the two forms and the uh, two uh, dissociates the nitrogen nitrogen bonding, nitrogen nitrogen bonding. So the electron, as the low work function of the electron, is transferred from the electrolyte to the lucenium, so that the energy gain is uh, obviously obtained. And is uh, to investigate uh, as uh, mechanism, we uh, examine the, the isotope exchange reaction uh, between 14 and 15 and nitrogen as a molecule. So the, this is the result, okay? This is a, as a, a catalyst reported so far. Okay, as a late determinating step is a dissociation of nitrogen, nitrogen bond. So the barrier is almost 100 kilojoule, okay? So the, on the other hand, the lucenium lowest C2 have seven cases. So the dissociation of nitrogen, nitrogen bonding is below 30 kilojoule per mole. This means that the dissociation of the nitrogen nitrogen bond is not is no longer the uh, later determination and uh, step uh, for the ammonia synthesis. <laughs> this is very very uh, is uh, impressive for us. Okay. So that here I will show that the demonstration of the ammonia synthesis. Okay, this is uh, as uh, uh, this movie was uh, taken at uh, almost three uh, years ago. Okay, o almost uh, ten minutes at uh, ten seconds. This is the uh, current stage of the ammonia synthesis. Yeah, pretty high. One order higher. One order higher. So the yes, so the smell strong. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is uh, the ambient pressure and temperature is uh, 350 ammonia synthesis. Okay, so the last one is uh, as application to the OLED. Okay, so the, now so the OLED is, uh, is uh, most promising next generation flat panel display. Okay, of course. The, but uh, that's, uh, it's how to drive the OLED. So the, the, there are two candidates. One is uh, as uh, uh, LTPS, low, low, low temperature process uh, silicon, but uh, as maximum size is, uh, is maybe the Gen, Gen 5, Gen 5. So the almost impossible to uh, fabricate a large size as, uh, as, as TV. So that's uh, uh, so the main candidate is oxygen, uh, oxygen TFT, especially the exo TFT. Okay, so but the, uh, so the polarity of the driving transistor is LTPS is a pin. Okay, oxide TFT, oxygen oxide TFT is an L type. So the polarity is totally different. So that the, the currently uh, use uh, uh, all that as uh, uh, structure is like a normal type. Yes, uh, cathode uh, is a top. Uh, the bottom is an anode, okay? So the electron injection layer is a disinfluoride. Yeah. So the, uh, when uh, uh, so this disinfluoride uh, uh, is uh, used in the bottom the, uh, structure, then it work. Okay, so that, but uh, uh, so for uh, application driven by uh, uh, the N-type TFT, so that we need to embed it as OLED structure, okay? So the how to realize the embedded OLED structure is a long standing issues. I show that uh, uh, the two material as uh, new material, and okay. So the huh, it's in the in the OLED. It's one of the the, 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 the tough issues is uh, electron injection layer, the high electron injection layer, because the lumen level of the organic is pretty high. So that's uh, that's cathode material need to uh, low work function material. But the low work function material is chemically active, so that's uh, uh, not so easy to obtain. So that uh, we uh, apply the c 12 sm electrolyte, uh, but the uh, uh, formation temperature of the crystal in c 12 is 900 degrees, almost impossible uh, to apply. So that uh, recently, uh, so we uh, obtained the amorphous and c 12 sm electrolyte just by spotting at room temperature. And uh, also, the, another important thing is uh, electron transport layer. Electron transport layer, a lot of the electron transport layer is pretty important. So the now LQ3 is used. So the mobility of the tend to the mobility of the LQ3 depends on the minus five. Why do people use a, 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 such a low mobility sample? Almost, almost crazy. How to believe for me? So that uh, uh, we show that uh, uh, much more as. Uh, High performance this material. Okay, so one is electron injection layer. Uh, okay, the amorphous C12 and the crystalline C12 is spot out uh, uh, at room temperature on the glass. So the, this is a 200 nanometer sample. And six samples, the complete transparent. What function of this material is 3.1. Three point one. The electron concentration is still remain, and uh, so almost uh, uh, in a crystalline state. Okay, so the and uh, when uh, as uh, C twelve S seven uh, amorphous C twelve S seven with the ten nanometer volts uh, used uh, as an electron injection layer in place of the lithium chloride. Lithium chloride is an insulator, and the, so that's the point five nanometer very thin. Okay, so that uh, this case is uh, that, uh, you can see that. Uh, uh, even uh, the thickness is 20 times larger, but the threshold voltage is much lower. Okay? So the another uh, important thing is uh, an uh, electron transport layer. I don't uh, specify it here. So new transparent amorphous oxide semiconductors. But the work function of the uh, new tau is uh, 3.5. Mobility is uh, 1. So the, compared to the organic material, 5 order of the magnitude higher. And the carrier, carrier concentration is a pretty small, 10 to the 16. The sample surface is, is a, 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 a smooth. This is due to the amorphous structures and the completely uh, transparent. And its chemical durability is pretty, uh, pretty good. When the uh, uh, deposit sample is 
uh, suppression the ambient pressure, ambient atmosphere doesn't change, so doesn't change. Again, uh, we can uh, uh, use uh, uh, electron uh, transport layer in the subsequent process. So the by combination of the uh, electron injection layer, uh, CTRV7, and electron transport layer, uh, so using a new house, uh, we fabricated the embedded type OLED. This one. Okay, so uh, this is the luminous intensity. As a work function of the new house is 3.5. 3.5. This is the minimum. Yeah, zinc oxide case is a 4.2. Okay, so that the 3.5 is a pretty low. Okay, and so it's chemically stable. And this is the embodied type. It's a, uh, all the structure. This is the, uh, this is a, uh, ID, this is I D O only. This is a, a normal type. It's O L E D. This is fluoride, and it's a, it's a aluminum. This case is. Uh, this is an embodied type. It's O L E D. So the bottom is a bottom castle, and by using a C two L seven. Uh, as an electron injection layer and new house for electron transport layer. So that the switch board, uh, well, almost the same, but uh, a little bit better than uh, the conventionally used as uh, uh, top, uh, uh, normal uh, structure all that. So the now an uh, embodied uh, type, uh, embodied top emission type, all that is easily obtained by using a new material. <coughs> So that we uh, we are now this material for the OLED uh, OLED lighting and uh, OLED lighting as uh, OPV and it's of course a large size as uh, electron uh, OLED structure. Especially okay, we can we can deposit the large size as uh, symphony by using uh, almost the same size of the glass substrate by using a comp Conventional spotting, so the ITO, new house, and C traversing. These three uh, layers easily, simultaneously, uh, successively deposited on a large size glass plate and taken out, and this uh, uh, the substance is created, and this uh, vacuum and uh, evaporation, uh, evaporation process can be uh, applied. So that uh, it's uh, we would like to apply this material for the large size and uh, OLED material, OLED devices. Okay, so the, sorry, at the almost time uh, to, uh, this is uh, uh, our material uh, journey. And this is world map, this is the Eurasia continent, this is Australia. We started from the Mongol, uh, the, like a uh, genius Han, and cultivated the frontier like here. Now when we arrived uh, around the Vietnam, we found that the uh, new uh, uh, application, uh, so-called uh, uh, film transistor for uh, uh, the front panel display. And we discovered a totally different material, that is to say, room temperature stable. So the constituent material is uh, uh, the burning material, like a CaO and aluminum oxide. Okay, so the by, it's, uh, at cultivating the this uh, continent, we discovered that uh, two-dimensional and um, amorphous electrolytes. So the application is a catalyst for the ammonia synthesis. So the all that, and as uh, uh, we discovered that the ion-based superconductor at first, and the, the discovery of the ion-based superconductor is uh, uh, like a discovery of the Hawaii. But so many pieces join. So the now this is a new continent, almost like a North American continent. So the what's next? Next is the South America or the you know, South Pole. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, we'd like to uh, so, uh, move to the moon. But anyway, it's, uh, uh, it's, uh, yeah, we'd like to uh, continue the material journey. So the last message uh, from me is material research is much more exciting than you think. Thank you very much.